It's time for another Make a Monday episode, and today I am with Patrick, who is usually the guy behind the cameras. And we're gonna show you how to hook up your multi-way light switch circuit to Home Assistant. So we're sitting here today with Patrick, the showrunner, if you will, the director. Oh, stop it. <laughs> and Patrick, are you a maker? And not per definition. I wouldn't describe myself as a maker. Okay. Um, but I had some time at parental leave uh -huh. when my baby and wife was were, were sleeping. Yeah. What else are you going to do when your baby and wife are sleeping? I was redoing some of the uh, Maker Monday episodes we did at that time. And I asked myself, how could I um, implement my already existing infrastructure mm -hmm. in my in my uh, apartment mm -hmm. into Home Assistant and control it with Home Assistant to get all the benefits that Home Assistant offers. Mm -hmm. the The main reasons why I wanted to to include my old fashioned um, switches mm -hmm. instead of buying a commercial product was first I still wanted to use my wall switches and not just leaving them on and just have the one um, the one way of, of controlling the light via a smartphone or something like that. Mm -hmm. And the second, and that's the most um, valid point, is uh, that I wanted to control, it wanted to be able to control the lights even if the Raspberry Pi isn't reachable from right. the network. Okay. So Home right. Assistant can be down and I can still use my, my wall switches. So, what do we need for the project? Uh, first of all, we need our Raspberry Pi with uh, Home Assistant already running, mm -hmm. a breadboard, a relay board, uh, we need some jumper cables, and a transformer. Good. And by the way, we released a Monday May... Monday May... Monday May... We released a Monday Maker Basic video that explains how multi-way switches work. So if you don't know, or you want to brush up, or you didn't see it, go and watch that video. But then come back to us. So welcome back at us. Welcome back to us. Um, we need to... Uh, what do we need? Oh, we've spoken about what we need. Yeah, sorry. So what is the first step, Patrick? The first step is to connect our relay board through the breadboard to our Raspberry Pi. Okay. Um, we need to connect uh, the power supply, mm -hmm. which is the VCC and ground. VCC means a uh, five volt power in this case. Um, we are connecting these to the power lines here. We are using the white wire as a ground and the black wire for five volts power. Five volts power. Um, is the GPIO2 and ground is GPIO9. 13579. Um, additionally to that, we need to connect the data lines, which are basically sending on or off to our mm. relay to make it switch or not switch. Okay. Um, we are using a relay board with four relays, but using just three um, GPIOs. We're explaining that later. So we are connecting these to the three relays. We are um, connecting the relay two and three together. Okay. So we are connecting the first uh, relay to GPIO 13. It's 9, 11, 13. Already, already um, sliding up. Yep. Yeah. The second and third uh, relay will be connected to GPIO 15. Boom. And the last one to GPIO 16. So we have connected All right. these relays to our GPIO board. Okay. The next step is to configure it in Home Assistant. So Home Assistant can control the relay board. So you just start, I think. Okay, I just start, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't even need me. <laughs> Why am I even here? We're opening our configuration YAML mm. on our Raspberry Pi, and I already prepared the new switches we are implementing. Down there, switch relay, which is on the platform Raspberry Pi GPIO. 
and we have the following port ports 27 22 and 23 okay that are the ports to the gpios 13 15 and 16. okay i don't know why but it don't know why yeah we have to deal with it, it is what it is and we call them relay one relay two and three and relay four okay that is are our three switches that's the configuration now we need to test it in home assistant first of all we need to check if our configuration is valid it is valid Brilliant. then we restart the pi okay so mm. we are checking our home assistant and we already have our relay one relay two and three and relay four switches okay. here all right and we can check if they are working checking relay one all right I could hear it yep relay two and three you can see it here on the yeah on the little lights and relay four okay, okay. they good. are all working that's perfect. So we're all set up now in Home Assistant. So we gotta we gotta bridge this gap, right? Correct. We need to connect the relays with the switches. All right. So I have some cables. Should I turn here? off the power? Yes, please. <laughs> By the way, I feel like it must be said we're working with electricity. So be careful, people. We're gonna turn off the power because we actually do value Patrick as a colleague. Thank you. You're welcome. That's good to hear. Mr. Director. So Patrick's already prepared some of the wiring. Um, what's, what's happening here? Uh, First of all, we need to understand that a uh, relay is basically the same thing or the same principle as a three-way switch. Okay. So we can use the relay as mm -hmm. the second part of a three-way switch system. Right. So what we did is we used the first three-way switch as a three regular three-way switch mm -hmm. with the two travelers, mm -hmm. which are leading into the relay okay. to the normally open, normally closed port. Right. And the um, connector which is coming out of the relay is connected to our lamp instead okay. of coming directly from the first switch. Okay. So right. now the power is sent through the first switch to one of the two travelers and is going into the relay and from there on is connected or not connected mm. to our lamp. Okay, interesting. Do we want to turn on the power? Yeah, we can test it. Let's test it. Turn on the power. Okay. And it's off. It is off. So now you can uh, turn the light on or off with the switch. Yes, you can. And off. Good. And? And we should be able to uh, toggle the light with Using home, assistant. home assistant. It's connected to relay four here, so we have to switch relay four. And there you go. We can control it here too okay. with home assistant or the, with the light switch. switch. And now you can also. Huh. And the other way around. Now we have one problem, as you can see. If we are turning it on with the regular switch, Home Assistant doesn't tell us if the light is on yeah, or off. Right. How do we solve it, Patrick? I don't How want problems, I want solutions. Okay. You're perfect here. <laughs> Just doing my job. <laughs> um, we need some kind of a feedback loop. Okay. To tell Home Assistant if the light is actually on or off even if we don't know it yet with okay. the relay, because yeah. the relay doesn't know which mm. of the two travelers is the active one. And therefore, the transformer comes into play. Okay. Because we cannot connect the regular light bulb electricity circuit <laughs> to our, <laughs> our Raspberry Pi, okay. because our Raspberry Pi is working with 3.3 uh, volts or 5 volts, okay. and our electricity circuit from our uh, Regular power. power supply is here in Germany 230 volts. Yeah, and that's that a little bit bad. too much. So we need a transformer to transform the 230 volts to 3.3 volts. Okay, so let's do it. From Tra AC to DC. AC to DC. You can you can make that joke. I'm not gonna make that joke. Okay, <laughs> Got it. it's too easy. All right, so should I turn the power yeah, off? That would be so no awesome. one gets electrocuted. Electrocuted, yeah. So we are connecting um, the AC uh, side of the transformer. You can see it here, AC and mm. AC. 
uh, with an input of 230 volts. Okay. To this side, to the lamp, to parallel the lamp. to the lamp. Mm -hmm. Can you say it like this? Yes. Yeah. And the other side, which is providing um, DC with 3.3 uh, volts. Um, we are connecting the positive line. We are connecting the positive line after a 3.3 volt output mm. to one pin of the breadboard okay. and the ground to our ground, ground line here. Right. So now we need a second um, jumper cable mm. to connect the pin here with the power to our GPIO board of the Raspberry Pi to GPIO 19. 15, 17, 19. Mm. So now, when the light is going on, also the transformer gets power, okay. transforms it down to 3.3 volts, right. and, and then sends it, sends it to, to the, the GPIO. All right, shall we try that? Uh, we cannot try it yet, because we, we yet. need to configure it on yes, the home assistant side. <laughs> Therefore, we are going into our configuration YAML. And as before, I already prepared that part. It's a binary sensor on the platform Raspberry Pi GPIO, mm -hmm. again, because it's on the GPIO. And we are using the ports uh, 10 and 9. Right now, we're just using one of them. The other one comes into play later. Okay. And we are calling them Yemen and Endor. And we need a bounce time of five sec milliseconds. Okay. I Why? think. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because just put a five millisecond bounce time. I'm not a maker, just, right? <laughs> just put a five millisecond bounce time. Tell us in the comments why, if you know. So. It's maybe not the best idea that we're doing stuff with electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious how I'm gonna edit that. Okay. Back at our home assistant, we need to check if the configuration is valid. It is valid. And we need to restart our uh, home assistant. Okay. So, home assistant has finished its restart. Okay. So we can um, turn on the power. Turn on the power. All right, let's do it. Light is on. Light is and on. As you can see, we have two new sensors up here. One is Endor and one is Yavin. Mm -hmm. um, both of them are currently on. Okay. Right now, just the Yavin one is uh, connected through the GPIO we are um, right. connected right now. Um, so if we are switching the switch, would you please do that? I will do it. The sensor is going off. It uh, takes a few seconds, like <coughs> eight or 10 seconds, okay. um, just because the transformer saves some uh, energy okay. in itself. All right. so, so now, now you can off. see it's off. So now if we are um, turning the light on with our relay, mm -hmm. the sensor should go on immediately. Okay, which it does. And if you're turning the light off with our switch. Should I do that? Yep. The sensor will tell us uh, that the light is off in a few seconds. Just a few seconds. It there is off, go. but the relay here on the home assistant side is still on. Ah. So that's right. not very elegant. No. So we have to somehow combine the sensor value with the switch. Okay. How do we do that? With a template switch. Template switch. Obvious. Oh, obvious <laughs> was my first thought as well. <laughs> so we need to implement the <clears throat> template switch. For that, we are going back to our uh, Home Assistant backend okay. configuration YAML. All right. I already prepared this part of the template switch. Mm -hmm. So we need a new switch, the template switch. I'm calling it template one here. If on the platform template, because it's a template. The light one, the friendly name, we are uh, naming it Yavin. Mm -hmm. um, this is the, the template here. The, the string, I think it's a string. Okay. I, I think so. Could be. Could be. He pulls it state from the sensor yeah. and doing its service on the switch. Okay, so we're just synchronizing everything. Correct. All right. So now we uh, are, we need to save it. And going back to our home assistant. 
so Home Assistant is back live again, mm -hmm. back on again. Okay. Um, and we can see if we scroll down that a new switch has appeared, Yavin. Yeah. Which is already on because our light is on. Mm -hmm. If we switch the light off with our switch, the light goes off. And our switch here should go off after a few seconds because right. the sensor is delayed. But and there now you go. The, the switch is off, yeah. which is awesome. If you're switching it back on again, either with the switch or with the... Um, the toggle. The toggle here on the home assistant. Okay. It has to go on. You can see here the relay four has turned on, yeah. as well as the switch itself. And the, the state is on because the sensor is on here. Okay. So it is working and if you're turning it off, here on the back end again, it goes off and goes on immediately back again because the sensor is still getting um, power from the transformer. Okay, but it now takes it a few seconds and now it's it's off. Recognize the real state. Yeah. So okay, it's, yeah. it's a delay of like eight seconds or something like that. Okay, um, you need to be aware of that, but I think that uh, it's okay in that purpose. That's it for part one of our multi-way switches episode, where Patrick showed us how to set up a switch in a circuit. And he did a great job. Patrick did a wonderful job. He's paying me to say this. In the next part, in part two of this multi-way switches episode, we'll add more switches to our circuit and we'll also clean up our home assistant interface so that there's less clutter there. So join us next time for that. Subscribe to our channel, click on the little bell, and we'll see you next time.